Twig, in the meantime, let's rescue the fish that are stuck in the lower branches of the trees. Robert, Robert, will you and the other poison dart frogs help us find all the stranded fish? We'll do, we'll do. When we find the fish, we'll point and signal with a... That's how we croak. Herbert, Herbert, will you keep watching the eggs and signal us when they start to hatch? We'll do, we'll do. Thanks. Poison dart frogs, let's hop to it. All right, Octonauts, let's hop to it too. Uh, oh, uh, steady. Oh. Uh. Found a fish, found a fish. Oh, a piranha. All right, into the bucket and no biting. He's an adder, he's an adder. I'll take you back to the river, little fishy. Up here, up here. This way, this way. I see one, I see one. Coming, coming. Me too, me too. Tadpoles! The tadpoles are hatching! The tadpoles are hatching! Congratulations! I'm excited! So excited! Time to start putting the tadpoles in puddles! Is it just me? Or is it starting to get windy? That's not wind! Yeah! It's a giant flying bug! It's the girl beach! Whoa! I'll beat the design on the dragonfly! And the H is for helicopter. You're just in time, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. way in is through the manual steering pod. But how are we going to get in, Captain? Ah, I know a little trick. <laughs> wow! It's just like home. Only not. Only very not. Only very, very not? This is not how I left these chairs. Tweak, we don't have much time. Uh, right. The bubble converter should be in here. It'll just take a minute, Cap. A fast! What was that? <gasps> I didn't see anything. But there was something. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. Or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. <laughs> Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, Kip, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations. Uh, Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Uh Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. Whoa! Um, is everything all right there? Um, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. Oh. Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange. Whatever you are. I'm in the game pod, mateys. Just a volleyball. Cut it out! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls! 
You can throw eight balls at once. I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. Ink? Huh? The barrels are back. But how? Now this is scary. A library with no books. Huh. We must have left one behind. you find your mom? What does she look like? It's more important what she sounds like. Each Emperor Penguin family has a special call only they use. I'd recognize my wife's call anywhere, and she's not here. She's not the only one who's missing. Where is Barnacles? I thought the team would be back with the Penguin Mothers. This is Tweak to go, Bess. Hello? Nobody's answering. Wait, wait, I hear something. Me too. Hmm, that sounds like an emperor penguin call. Mixed with a polar bear growl? My darling! I'm here! Bandages? Are you all right, dear? Oh, yes. Thanks to the Octonauts. I never would have made it without them. Now, how about a proper hello, little one? Meet your mommy. <laughs> Oh, my little leg's all grown up. Captain! What happened? There was wind and snow and an ice chasm. I'm just glad you're all okay. But where's the gup, S? <clears throat> you tell her, matey. Me? Why do I have to tell her? Well, I'm not going to tell her. I'm afraid the gup S is at the bottom of an ice chasm. Squeak! <sighs> I didn't think you'd take it that hard. <sighs> we'll figure it all out, Cap. It ought to be a real adventure getting the gup ass out of that chasm. Yep. But first, how about some hot chocolate? Good idea, Quasi. Make mine a double with extra marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> This little reef is only a few years old, but it's already full of life. Aye, this reef is busy, even if it's not very big. Hey, it's big enough. G who said that? I'm right here. Show yourself. Oh, here I am. I'm a frogfish. Name's Anton. Wow, you look so much like the reef. I didn't see you there, matey. That is the idea. I'm camouflaged, which means I blend in with what's around me. It keeps me safe from bigger fish who want to eat me, like those sharks. Sharks? Everybody hide. Hmm, I thought I smelled food. Let's head to a bigger reef. See what I mean? <laughs> you fooled them, matey. Fascinating. These other fish can't blend in like the frogfish, but the reef has lots of places for them to hide. This reef keeps us and all our friends safe. It is our home sweet home. Oh, look out! Woo! Sorry about that. We fixed the pedals. Now the gum F steering isn't working right. Aye, and as soon as you fix the steering, something else will break. I know. She's the first gub I ever built, so I can't give up on her. Maybe if I pedal a little faster. Yeah, that's good. Whoa! No, that's bad. Tweak, Macy. Are you all right? <sighs> yep. But now I gotta fix the steering, the pedal, the rudder. The top, the bottom. Ah, is there anything on the gup F that doesn't need fixing? The seats are still comfy. <laughs> Captain, the storm tracker shows that there's a hurricane on the way. Octopod to Quasi, Shellington and Tweak. There's a hurricane heading your way. And it's moving fast. Take cover in the gups. There's not enough time to return to the octopod. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll ride out the storm in the gup sea. Very good. 
Barnacle's out. There's a hurricane about to hit, matey. Storm coming. Oh, everyone take cover. safer way to check the suction tires? Nope. Suction tires, check. We're now entering the midnight zone. Automatic headlights, check. Let's test the backup lights. Flip that switch, will you, Cap? Uh-huh. And back on again. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Shiver me whiskers! Hydrothermal vents. Captain, it looks like you had a rough landing. Everything okay down there? We're fine, Dashy, but take a look at this. Gub cameras, check. Jumping jellyfish. The black smoke coming out of those hydrothermal vents is actually really hot water. Hot enough to melt the gub. Be careful, Captain. Thanks, Shellington. <sighs> that was a close one, Tweak. How's the Gup X doing? Uh, engines, still running, computer, is online, super tough out of shell, is handling the heat just fine. Good. Let's continue the inspection, away from these hydrothermal vents. Okay, Cap, activate the glider. Glider, check. What's the matter, matey? You look like you've just seen a sea ghost. <sighs> Must be my imagination. Come on, Quasi. We'd better get back inside. Come on, Tweak. What was out there? Well, I know it sounds crazy, but I could have sworn I saw something white and furry climbing around on the gut. White? Furry? Oh, mateys, there's only one thing it could be. A sea yeti. Half fish, half shaggy white beast. The sea yeti lurks in the darkest depths of the midnight zone. But you'll always smell it before you see it. A sea yeti's foul breath smells like rotten eggs and is strong enough to knock out the mightiest pirate. <laughs> Now that you mention it, it does smell sort of funny in here. Hmm. Note to self, replace the air freshener. Well, see Yeti or no see Yeti, we'd better finish the inspection. There's just one more thing on my checklist, Cap. The hot cocoa machine. <laughs> well? Oh, check. That does it. The Gupex is in total and complete 100% work in order. Huh? Okay, Tunip, we are officially done fixing up the bubble engine. Let's fill her back up with water. Now remember, when the water reaches the launch bay jack, close the front door. <laughs> Easy as pie. Let's make sure the area outside the octopod is all clear. No creatures in the area. We are all clear. Ready, Tunip? Tuba, tuba! Blast off! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mom! I love this part! <laughs> now let's test your tail fins. To that big rock as fast as you can. Uh huh? <gasps> Leo, press! Oh! Okay, 
But what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Aso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. Uh, okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. <laughs> Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Sure, Tumble. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting-proof suits. Here he goes. There he goes. Now, which way did he go? Reality oh, flippers, another tremor. Hold on, everyone. Yeah. Oh. The axe is breaking up. Oh. Oh. Tweak, are you all right? I'm fine, but all that shaking split up the Gup X. We've lost the glider and the octoski. And the captain and Quasi. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. Come in. Cap, Quasi. Oh, it's no use. The radio's broken, too. Tweak, Peso, are you all right? We've lost contact with the rest of the Gup X. You mean it's vanished? No, it's out there. We just need to find it. But first, we need to get the glider moving. Let's go out and check on the damage. First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the Gup Connector. Gup Connector? I designed the Gup X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the Gup Connector is working, it'll pull all the other parts of the Gup X back together. Along with the Captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. Lost its slimy seaweed. We'll have to pull it out. Who said that? I knew it. This sea is full of ghosts. I thought you said it was full of sea monsters. That too? Oh, dear. Whatever you be, you'd best be gone. I can't. Huh? I'm stuck. Very possibly forever. Oh! <gasps> A loggerhead sea turtle! The name's Lenny, and my shell is hard enough to protect me for now, but this thing's getting really heavy. Don't worry, Lenny. We are the Octonauts, and we'll get you out safely. You may want to pull your head and flippers into your shell just to be safe. Oh, wish I could. We loggerhead sea turtles can't hide inside our shells. Our heads and flippers are too big. Then we'll have to be extra careful. Come on, Quasi. One, two, three, lift! Lift! I have this gub connector fixed faster and you can see a bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Number two spanner, please. Number five screwdriver. Number three carrot. There's a lot of wind. This could get bumpy. Coconut ready. 
ready! Crap! Yeah, I don't see Clem. I've got to get a closer look. There he is! Damn drop! Nice catch, matey! And I might add... Ouch! Was he? Rapid trouble overhead! Thanks, fishies! That's Clarence! Crap! Drop! Got him! Need help! Over here! Safe. Thank you, Octonauts. Good work, everyone. Mission complete. Uh, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut. You're right. Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, it just might crack open. Okay, drop. in the coconut. This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! Whoa! So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, thanks for rescuing me, mateys. These here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. <laughs> Trying coconuts! Let's get cracking! Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson Quasi, tell him for me. Yeah! To photograph that golden jar. I wonder if it's still there. If we can find the shipwreck, Dashy, then we can look for the golden jar. And the sea monster! Dashy, Peso, you'll come along with Quasi and me. Okie dokie, Cap. Oh. We're ready to test the grabber. Activating grabber. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Ah, got it. This will help pick things up from the shipwreck. Thanks, Tweak. And it's a perfect monster grabber. Monster grabber? Don't worry, Peso. Right, let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. <laughs> Spiffy uniform, Peso. Our special visitor will be impressed. Thank you, Captain. Tweak, progress report. The guppy is almost here, Cap. It should be arriving in one minute. Octonauts, let's give our guest of honor a ship-shaped welcome. Form a line. Permission to open the octa hatch, Cap. Permission granted. Here we are, the Octopod. Pinto! Peso! Captain Barnacles and my fellow Octonauts, this is my little brother Pinto. Welcome aboard, Pinto. Oh, thanks. This is Professor Inkling, <laughs> Tunip and Tweak. Hi. Was your trip okay? It was the best ride ever. Quasi taught me how to talk like a pirate. Aye, matey! Shimmer me flippers! <laughs> this is for you, me hearty. Welcome aboard the Octopod. <sighs> Do I look like a real pirate? Yow! Yow! I'm ready for action! <clears throat> and this is Dashy and Shellington. Hello. It was great to meet you, Pinto. We'll see you when we get back. Are they taking the gut E on a real mission right now? Yes, they're going out to study baby sea snails. Baby sea snails can be hard to find because they're so tiny. 
That's why I have my magnifying glass. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> I want to go on a mission too. Let me show you around the octopod first. Quasi told me that the life of an octonaut is really exciting. Oh, it is. As a medic, I... Do you search for sea monsters like Quasi? Uh, well, here, let me show you what I do. I... And Quasi says that an octonaut has to be prepared for anything to happen. That's true. You want to try doing something that I do? I'm ready for anything. All right, then. Here's a real challenge. Bandaging. We'll practice a combination bandage. A flipper sling and a rib wrap. Now you try it. I want to learn how to be an octonaut, not a medic. But I'm an octonaut and a medic. I mean a real octonaut, like Quasi. Ready for action. Is the creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. I think there's something alive in here. Where am I? You're on the octopod. Huh? My house. It's broken. No worries, little guy. We can put your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. You live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh. I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the Midnight Zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, we'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Wrong. Hold on. Yeah. That ought to do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. You know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashy can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. What's going on? The radar isn't working. Tweak, Quasi, let's go outside and work out what's happened. The dish must be broken. I'll have it fixed faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Peso, open the octo hatch. Yes, right away, Captain. The radar dish isn't broken. It's gone. A thief must have stolen it. We have to get it back. I reckon that scurvy thief is around here somewhere. I'll find him with me spyglass. Ah, seaweed! <sighs> yeah. Oh, now I can't see a thing. Here, use my binoculars to look for anything unusual. Aye, Captain. Tweak, come with me. 
We'll search the other side of the octopod. Now, where's that thief? <laughs> Strikes again! Ah, I've had that spyglass since my pirate days. The thief couldn't have gone far. Aha! A trail! <laughs> ah, we've lost the trail. Whoa! I bet there's a lot of places in this reef for a thief to hide. I'll look under every rock until I get my spyglass back. Hold on, Quasi. This thief is sneaky, so we'll have to be sneakier. If he sees us coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So, we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. We're going after the thief, but we don't want him to be able to see the Gup A. How can you help us, Tweak? I've got just the thing. Camouflage. Push that button, Captain. Oh! Camouflage helps the gup look like the rest of the ocean, so no one will see you. We'll look just like the rocks and the seaweed. And if you need even more camouflage, press that. Understood. Thanks, Tweak. Quasi and Peso, prepare to launch. <laughs> Avast, you slimy critter! Come to Quasi! Now, our snot sea cucumber was last seen sliding into an octo shoot. Hi, she's a slippery one, all right. According to my calculations, we have less than five minutes to get her back into the water so she can breathe. Octonauts, we must find her now. She's probably looking for water, so search in places where there's water. <laughs> We're running out of time. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Hmm. There's only one thing we can do, Peso. If we can't bring the snot sea cucumber to the ocean, let's bring the ocean to the snot sea cucumber. Huh? We'll flood the octopod. You mean fill it with water? Yow! Hi there, Captain. It's all fixed. Attention all octonauts. Put on your diving helmets, opening all hatches. We're flooding the octopod. Yep, faster than you can say, flooding the octopod? In 10 seconds, the octopod will be completely filled with water. Nine. Hang on, Slippy. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Wherever she is, at least she can breathe. But she's still hurt. There has to be somewhere we haven't looked. Right over your head. Over my head? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe not, but there she be, right over your head. <laughs> ah, 
It's always nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh. He must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find her. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut B near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak, we'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. First, we'll record his sounds and then we'll play it while we search. And his mummy will recognize the special sound. Ready, set, whistle. Come here, little matey. Don't be afraid. He likes you, Quasi. Why don't you try? Um, give us a nice whistle now. Perfect. We've got our recording for the search. Shellington, Dashy, into the gup E. Peso, into the gup A with me. We'll spread out and search for the dolphin's mother. And Quasi, you stay here and babysit. I can. Oh, what? Did you say stay here and babysit? Well, you're the best one for the job, Quasi. Me? A babysitter? Yes. The baby dolphin really seems to like you. Keep a close eye on him. But, Captain, I... Quasi, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. Don't worry, little matey. They'll find your mother. All we have to do is wait. <sighs> Waiting's not very exciting, is it? Octonauts, we have to get the octopod ready before this storm gets here. If a storm is big above water, it'll be just as big below water, too. Dashy, let us know when the storm gets closer. Aye, aye, sir. Peso, close all the outer portals. Aye, aye, Captain. Tweak, pull in the octopod arms. Aye, aye, sir. And Quasi, start turning off the engines so we can... Quasi? Hmm. Where is Quasi, anyway? Uh, he's test driving the gut B. Outside!
to return to the octopod now. There's a dangerous storm coming. Hello? Can you hear me? There you go. Thanks, Mr. Optimite. Oh, it's nothing. Stick close to your family. Whoa! That's a big family. Where's everybody going? Out of the reef to deeper water. That way we'll be safe from the big storm. Big storm? What big storm? The one that's heading this way, mister. If there's a storm coming, I'd better make sure everyone in the reef is safe. So long, matey! Yow! You sure have a big grip for a little lobster. Thanks, mister. See ya! Mom! Mom! He said I have a big grip! That's nice, dear. Marty, can you hear me? This is urgent. There's a big storm on the way, and you've got to get back to the octopod before it gets here. Aye, just let me do a quick check of the reef to make sure everyone's safe. Don't worry, Captain. I'll get back before the storm gets here. <laughs> Looks nice and calm out there. That's good. Let's check the radar, Tweak. I don't see anything unusual on the radar. Hmm. That's good. Let's listen for any unusual sounds coming from outside the octopod. No unusual sounds out there. That's good. That's not good. It sounds like a, a creature who needs help. We, we've got to do something, Tweak. We've got to, to... Sound the octo alert? Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, I've got to find whatever's making that noise. Don't forget to use the camera on the gup. Yes, so we can see what you see out there. Remember now, we're right here, ready to help you. Um, peso. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> Open the Opto hatch, please. You got it, Peso. <laughs> well, Professor, Peso may be a little shaky, but he's doing fine. Yes, Peso's never too frightened to help. Once he's learned that something might be in danger, nothing stops him. Remind me again, Shellington. What do you call those creatures you're looking for? Huh? Oh! Renipedes, Captain. They're very unusual creatures, and this area is crawling with them. Well, before you head out, let me just show you how to drive the Gup D one more time. Oh, I'll be fine, Captain. I've seen the Gup D in action. Yes, but Shellington, you've never driven her yourself. But I know how it starts. You just press this. <gasps> no, not yet. You have to close the windscreen first. OK, now you can start the engine. Well done. Now be careful. Steady as she goes. Don't worry, Captain. I know what I'm doing. Oh, whoops. Oh. Remember, take it easy. Very easy. Oh, whoops. Oh, hey. Tweak, we'd better keep an eye on the Gup D, just in case Shellington gets into trouble. Agreed, Cap. I'll check the Gup Finder. So far, so good. <sighs> Let's see, remedies. Um, well, they swim on their backs, have lots of legs, have long antennae, and live in dark sea caves. Ooh, dark sea caves. 
Oh, now where can I find a dark sea cake? Oh! 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 Oops! Oh! Oops! Oh! Oh! Jumping jellyfish! A dark sea cave! I must investigate. <gasps> Cap, Shellington has crashed! Tweak, sound the octo alert. <laughs> the current's pulling us in. Sorry, crabs. Careful! Oh, lean this way. Well done. Are we getting closer? There she is, up ahead. <gasps> A whirlpool! It's not good! Oh, Tweak! Don't worry, Sandy. We're gonna save you from that whirlpool! We'll find a way, Tweak. The whirlpool's coming up fast, Captain! There's no way we can rescue Sandy while we're outside that current. So what do we do? There's only one thing we can do. I was thinking I could use a little swim. Tweak, you steer while Quasi swims into the current. Then, when he grabs Sandy, we'll pull them both out. Got it, Cap! Flushed out and then refilled. Here we go. Oh. Do you need some help? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's better. Thanks for the muscle, Captain. Oh dear. Now my friend sounds as if she's in trouble. I've got to help her. Don't worry. Uh, I'm on my uh, way. Uh, I think all the noise from the octopod is confusing my gigantic whale friend. Hey, big fella! Slow down! You're going to crash into the octopus! 
octopod. Quasi to octopod. Quasi to octopod. Quasi to octopod. Quasi to octopod. Peso, there's a mixed up whale heading straight for you. Pardon? I can't hear you. <laughs> Hold on, Quasi. Um, Captain, the radar shows that something's heading towards the octopod. Something big and fast. It looks like it's gonna hit us. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a big blue whale, Captain. A blue whale? Blue whales are the biggest animals that have ever lived, Captain. It would be a disaster if one of them hit us. Quasi, you've got to stop him. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. But all of this noise is... Um, Captain... I think we have another problem. There's something else coming towards us from the other direction. It must be the blue whale's friend. If they hit the octopod, they're going to hurt themselves and us. Hmm. Blue whales are big, but gentle. Why would they head straight for us? Oh dear, it's difficult to think with all this noise. Noise? Professor, do you think? Yes, of course. Whales use sonar, that's sound waves, to find out where they're going, to steer around rocks, and to talk to each other. So, our noise is messing with their sonar. The sounds we're making must be confusing the whales. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I've been trying to tell you. I, uh, had a bit of a problem. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite cup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the HQ. Octonauts, the gut B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashie, check the gut finder. It should show us where the gut B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the Gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the Gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the Gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gut sea ready, Tweak? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. 
We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh. Quasi? Oh. Let's go, Shellington. Uh-oh. Sounds like some gunk got in the propeller. Hold on, everyone. All right, mateys. The next point wins. Chasing after a shark! They're not chasing that shark! The shark is chasing them! <laughs> ah, we can't seem to shake him! Peso, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to your stations! We need to get away from this shark. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. <laughs> Ready, Tweak? Now close it. Phew. Good work, Octonaut. Fascinating. I wonder why that shark decided to chase us. Maybe you look like a tasty dinner, me hearties. No, that can't be it. Sharks don't eat ships. I'm just glad that shark didn't catch us. That'll teach me to take out a gunky gup. Um, how's the gup cleaning coming along, Quasi? I haven't started, finished yet, Captain. <clears throat> well, back to work. <sighs> What? <laughs> Who cleaned the cup, eh? I did. Hello, how did you get in here? I followed the cup and I'm ready for more and more and more. You mean, you like cleaning? I like it. I live for it. I'm a pilot fish. It's how I get food. I eat the gunk off of things. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. <laughs> then dinner is served. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that. That's filthy. Delicious. Oh, look at that. Filthy. Great work, Quasi. These gups have never been cleaner. Well, as I always say, Captain, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it properly. I'm amazed how fast you're able to do this. And all on your own, too. You tell him. No, you tell him. <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> you lost it? But, but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water. And before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. But how? Those flying fish got away from us before, but now we know how to catch up to them. We just have to leap out of the water and fly like they do. But, Captain, how in the seven seas are we going to do that? Tweak? I'm on it, Cap. I'll get a little advice from my new friend on how to make the guppy fly. <laughs> The first thing you have to do is leap out of the water. That means you have to go up very, very fast. Well, I already know how to do that. Wait, that's just the first step. What goes up? <laughs> um, oh. Must come down. Ah, I almost had it. After you leap out of the water, how do you stay in the air? Oh, I spread me pectoral fins like this so I can glide. Hmm. And I use me tail fin to push myself out of the water. 
Fascinating. Hmm. Pectoral fins and a tail fin that can move. Got it. <sighs> okay. I've added pectoral fins and a tail fin. Fully adjustable. Now, Cap, all we have to do is test her out and see if she'll fly. I'm afraid there's no time for a test, Tweak. Aye, we've got to get the professor's book back. There's not a second to lose. Peso, is our flying fish friend good to go? Time for a checkup. <laughs> Try moving your tail fin. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> He's ready to fly, Captain. With your help, we'll find your friends and get the professor's book back. Into the gops, Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Open the Octo Hatch, Tweak. Aye, aye, Cap. 